you very much. Hi, guys. Uh, so I'll try to give a, a very quick brief uh, of Away to Mars and uh, what we've been doing. And uh, when I was building this uh, presentation uh, to come here, I was uh, obviously uh, procrastinating and trying to find something else to do. And that was on my Facebook account. And I received a memory from 10 years ago. And that was me 10 years ago in Brazil. Uh, and what's surprising about this photo is not that I'm wearing makeup or as I was smoking that I stopped uh, five years ago, but it's that my friend was wearing, uh, she took a digital camera to the nightclub to do some photos. And what is important about this and uh, relevant for, our, for us here uh, today is that in the last 10 years, we went through a, a, re a revolution in, with the smartphones and we are connected now. We have access to better uh, technology, we have internet on the go, and we have an explosion of social media. We all have uh, Instagram accounts or Facebook accounts, and that uh, allowed people to share more and to be connected more. Uh, in the 10 past, uh, ten past years, we got Airbnb. If you have a spare room in your house, you can share with people. If you have some, a car and some time, you can share with people using Uber. If you have a great idea for a business, you can just put on Kickstarter and share it on people as well and get an investment. But what about fashion and what about ideas? So I was doing a master's uh, dissertation about how people are using uh, social media and social platforms to connect and to share ideas. And I found a huge potential of uh, sketches and amazing ideas for fashion products but they all got lost. Or because people didn't have the connection, or they didn't have uh, money, or they didn't have the technical excuse to take these ideas further into the market. So I said, oh, why don't we get this, uh, all this data and all this creative information and make it to money? So I opened a beta platform uh, where people work together to co uh, they co-create fashion, and we put them on the market. And we share the profits back with the community. So it's a very simple concept uh, of uh, working with a, a diverse uh, platform of uh, designers. But at the same time, it's a disruption of the industry that is very close-minded and is very egocentric. So I opened Away to Mars in 2015 as a beta project. We had 40 designers to start. And I wanted to create a place where people were free. Were free to create, were free to talk to each other, and they were free to make money. And that's uh, where we started. Uh, I wanted to create a place that people were like the same. There's no ego in, in the brand. People were, uh, yeah, we are all the same there. There's no Carl Lagerfeld or uh, Stella McCartney or John Galliano. We are all away to Mars and we're doing something together. And so I opened Away to Mars in uh, 2015. We, we ran eight collections already. Uh, we have 15,000 designers uh, on our platform. And it's been a, a great journey. Uh, we've been uh, very successful with press, uh, but mainly now uh, we have been uh, asked for uh, by all the big brands to, to experience this universe of collaboration and, to, and um, public uh, public uh, research, let's say. So we, we did a very cool project last year. Uh, I don't know if you guys know Melissa. They do some jelly shoes. Um, and we did a, a full collaboration with them. I'm going to show a little bit of the, the video. Design now is not an entity from one single person. It's a collective uh, creation. So we are way to Mars, 10,000 designers from more than 90 countries. This is a fashion brand, 100% collaborative. It's all about co-creation and bringing people together to innovate in design. We as a brand and as a collective, we'll take this idea further into the market and help this designer to have this piece produced. We 
love Melissa because it's a brand that is uh, very innovative and it's always looking ways of disrupting the industry, disrupting the fashion market. And we got like extremely excited to be collaborating with a Brazilian brand it was the perfect match. The theme of this collection is Citizens of Everywhere. We filled London with posters and clean graffiti asking people to join our mission of turning design accessible to all. We opened our platform for idea submissions during the month of August and September and received hundreds of ideas from all over the globe. And now we're transforming this into three pair of shoes. They'll be ready to go to the market. We are launching that in our fashion show in March here in Portugal. We are very excited to show you the results of this almost one year process that we opened to the public. So the public was 100% involved in every single stage and now we are ready to show the results for this collaboration. Which makes this the biggest shoes collaboration in history. This is a very fun project to run because Melissa, I don't know if you guys know, but they are a huge uh, company in Brazil and they sell worldwide. And we sold 50,000 pairs of shoes in the first month. And it was for us that we are like a, a brand of three people in the basement studio in London uh, to, to have this volume and have access to all this platform of uh, creating uh, with uh, this huge team was very interesting. Uh, so this shows uh, a huge potential in the industry as well to use the power of, of people and power of consumers to co-create and uh, to um, test the product before it goes to the market. With Melissa, it was very fun because uh, we had the potential of, show, of showing the, the products to the public before it was made and uh, doing a, a pre-order system that allowed us to produce exactly what we sold. Uh, so this also goes uh, with our ethos as a brand um, to promote sustainability and uh, not overproduction as uh, uh, traditional uh, brands uh, tend to do. On, on the beginning of, uh, last, uh, of the beginning of last year, we got approached by a completely different brand um, called Fruit Loops. Uh, they are from Kellogg's Group in America, and they approached us to co-create with the, with the public uh, 10 items of uh, clothing as well. And it was a very interesting process uh, to turn the cereal, they are, they are cereal brand, they sell like... Uh, yeah, like Fruit Loops, and they, and they want to test that into the market. So it was very cool. Uh, we sold uh, 1,000 uh, items in a pre-order in, in two weeks, and we, we stopped doing, uh, we, we didn't do more. Just, we didn't want to, to produce more clothes. Uh, so it was a very cool project as well to do. And uh, it's very exciting uh, now that we got a, uh, we, we were just approached by a luxury brand, so we are launching a, a collaboration with Missoni, the knitwear brand from Milan, and we are launching uh, uh, 10 items with them in July this year. So it's our fir the first time the uh, brand we are three years old uh, approached by a, uh, a 65 years old luxury brand to co-create with the public. So it just shows that people are interested to hear what the public wants to say and what this community of designers wants to say. So yeah, this is my, my, a little bit of a way to Mars. And if you have any questions, I'll be here all day. So just come and talk to me. Thank you very much. Thank you. Um, Alfredo, just uh, maybe a couple of questions. So tell me, uh, how important is it for you to have a physical space, a physical location in the heart of London? Yeah, it was very, um, that was a great question, because when I opened the brand, I would say I want to be all digital and explore just e-commerce, uh, because the margins are better and the experience are interesting. Uh, but we're lacking the connection with, with the customers. So we, we opened a pop-up last year uh, in November and was amazing because people could feel the clothes. And I think there's still a need of like, uh, our clothes are quite special. Uh, not saying the other clothes are not special, but our clothes are quite special in the fitting. So I think people need to go and try and fit and, and see how the difference when you're using a sustainable fabric of or not, and things that we still cannot experience online. I think the, the online area is still like a way to, 
to, to, to grow on this side of experience. So for us, it was like essential to build a, to open a, a, a shop in London. Yeah. So, and with every new collection you do, then you have uh, this collection in the store, and uh, you also invite the people who've designed that co-creatively with you yes. to the store? Yeah, so we're doing two things that's very cool now. So we're inviting the people that co-create with us uh, to the shop, but we're also developing the next collection with the customers that come to the shop. So basically, when uh, we opened our shop in London, we just moved our offices there, and uh, our designing team is there and getting feedback from everyone that comes in. So it's like a, a full like uh, collaboration process uh, between us and the customer. So well. how does that uh, process look like when they enter the store? How do you get their ideas onto paper? Uh, so basically, we are there working. So it's basically an open studio, and what we're doing the. Uh, the mock-ups and the prototypes, and they come and talk and interact with us. And it's a, li a little bit of like energy as well, like well, in opinions and feedbacks and lens and like colors and everything. Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. So you have your studio there. Yeah. And it's also the storefront then. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, it's, it's a new concept. Of, not a new concept, but we want to explore these in our uh, f future shops as well. Yeah. Great. Thank cool. you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you. So cool that you're here with us in Berlin.